every processing mill or every factory will have persons that will set it up, people that will show man different sections, there will be check and balances, and there will be serious quality control if you must have um, good output. And then of course the product will begin to tell whether the factory has actually done well or not. I always say that it's not the factory that sells itself, it's the product that sells the factory. Here, the foundation upon which we run everything is our spiritual foundation. We cannot make kings and queens. Except first of all, we have in place and we appreciate in totality the place of the king of kings himself. Like our visionary chancellor said, the Lord said, hand it over to me. So it's a school handed over to the Lord. And we are servants, stewards in the vineyard, working to ensure that as the Lord wants it, is how it's turning out. When you come to the university, you find that spiritual activities are primary. You cannot say you're a staff in this school, you don't go for chapel services. Our students go for chapel services. They have quiet time with the Lord. They have a uh, covenant hour prayers and all of that. One of the key statements I think is that we want to change the battered image of the black man. How do you do that? You need to raise the people who first of all understand that there is a challenge. So they must proffer solutions to that. The Word of God says when you meditate upon the Word of God, when it becomes a foundation upon which you base all your activities, you will have good success. So it's not out of place that we have very good success in our short time as a university. We're barely 18 years age. We're just above a teenager. But we're already working with the global mighty ones out there. And so this form the foundation upon which every other thing we do uh, is drawn on. Collective responsibility is a core thing for us. We expect everybody to look out for one another and to look out for virtues, look out for vices. If there are vices, let us know about it. We'll know how to correct it. There's no courtism in this school. None. None. It's absolute zero. None. And Today we have our product speaking up every part of the world. It's because they have learned this and that when they step out, you find that what you try to spend eight, four weeks or 12 weeks to train new recruits in your organization, my student is ready to go the very first day they get in there. A lot of our egos that are graduated have companies of their own because we always say we are not really training people so they can go and work, work, work. They should create jobs unemployed. We just uh, started a Coursera uh, syncing now with our curriculum and our syllabuses. We're the first school in Africa to do so. Why do we want to do so? We truly want to make our students globally competitive so that by the time you're leaving school, you have four, five, six, seven Coursera certification. Not of, see you, not of Nigeria. Maybe you audited one from MIT, one from Yale, one from Harvard, all of that. We really want to measure our global competitiveness with other global icons. Our training is not, is not just so that uh, we'll make you go here and there. It is to train the whole man, the complete man. So we have what you call the TMC, the total man concept, where your spirit, soul, and body is looked into. Our curricular activities are geared towards that. Your spiritual man is primary. Spiritual activities are there to help you. Your soulish man is secondary. Your academic ideas are there to help you. And your, your physical man is a tertiary one. And you have sport, other extracurricular activities to, to take care of that. So we have a total man concept. And that's part of the things we have in place that has been used over the years to help raise the kings and the queens that you probably have heard of. Mm -hmm.